Good morning. Good morning. Is it still morning? Nope, it's afternoon. I keep good afternoon, YouTube. So we're here in the truck. <coughs> obviously. And uh, I'm just kind of going through everything and seeing what's what. So I have a buddy of mine who is a master electrician. He lives out there in Cleveland, Ohio. One of my old good friends uh, back in the days when I was in the music industry, we used to do music together. But now he's got his own business and he's doing really well out there in Cleveland, Ohio. But uh, he's seen the... Uh, I didn't even tell him I had a YouTube channel. Somehow he found out. And so uh, he is willing to come down to where I live out here in, in Texas and uh, do my electrical work for me. So I'm just kind of going through and kind of seeing what needs to be done or whatever. But uh, he said, whatever you want, whatever you need, let me know. I'll wire it up for you. I said, oh, all right, dope. So I am going through the truck now, seeing what else we should do to it. And I think next what I'm going to do is peel this off of here so we can see. Start getting situated to do some cutting back here in the back. I don't know if we're going to do it now, like this week, but I at least want to get it off of here so we can see at least see what's going on behind the scenes here. And we're probably going to have to take off the whole panel. So we're going to look through everything and see what we got going on. But uh, the floor looks great, guys. The floor looks really good. So we're also going to be taking this out. And we're going to be taking that out. I might do that this week because uh, we have some ideas of what we want to do to this area back here. Uh, which I can't share yet. I can't share as of right now. But... Um, Thinking about doing some kind of wall paneling back here in the back to kind of cover all that up. Uh, we'll have to get some more foam to put back here. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely going to be putting some insulation back here to kind of block out some of the noise and stuff. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yeah, y'all, we're excited. So I don't know what's on today's agenda. I do know we have some repairs to do, brake chambers, lack adjusters. Um... That kind of stuff, but you guys roll that intro and we'll see what we get into today. Already in here working, huh? Yeah, I'm just trying to see what's back here. Huh? I'm just trying to see what's back here. Just there see. ain't no kind of supports or anything, is there? Uh, not to the, uh, see. It's just a big cap, ain't it? Yeah, you want to come back here and look? Yeah. I was kind of afraid of that. <clears throat> Ow. There's oh, watch it. There's still shit there. Yep. No supports. Kind of look at this to see what, how it even attaches. 
Well, this has got to come out regardless. Okay, so this is uh, actually that's part of this the truck itself. Mm -hmm. This right here, however. Yeah, that's separate right here somewhere. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to see. I don't, I don't know, you might have to go pull that up on a video, bro. And mm -hmm. Find out what's going on, because I don't know. Yeah, I just seen, okay, so this is two separate pieces here. Look at these, though. She got the bullet coming over there. Actually, right here, you see where that seam is? Where? Right here? Uh-huh. You see where it separates at the top up there? Here. Uh, okay, it kind of pulled, it's like slid together. Like there's a lip and this right. side's on the lip. Right. It's not, it's literally slid together. Like. It must be bonded or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's see if this is really bonded. Yeah, it's got some kind of badass glue behind it. First shock is out. So these are the new ones we're gonna be putting in. Yeah, these old ones are wore out, y'all. Look, look at that. I can do that with my hand. Don't need these. Actually, I don't know. I might. I don't know. So, guys, if y'all watched the video from the other day, we're going to be using these as giveaways. We'll be send, sending this stuff off to you guys. Actually, this I can still use. I'm not giving that away, y'all. Sorry. But yeah, like this stuff from the old exhaust. And then these can actually, with a lot of work, can be polished up probably. Actually, this. Uh, this one's kind of beat up. I don't know. Yeah, that's for sure done. So yeah, we can use these for giveaways too. I don't know how we do it yet, but yeah, it's just trash. Yeah. 
What are you doing in here? How'd you get? That's how you got in here. I need to put that boot down. Are you leaving? Seriously? You're making a mess. Yeah, come on out. Come on. Yeah, guys, so we're going to try to mount the bumper today. We're going to do some welding. I think he's cleaning up the bolts. Let's see what he's got going on. But yeah, so we're going to be doing shocks today. I bought some new brake chambers. And I bought some new airbags. So these back here are okay. But I definitely got to change this one out. And... We gotta change that one now. So, personally, well, I think I have changed out shocks before, but I've never done a brake chamber. And I have never done, uh, well, I have done it. I've, you know what, I lied. I've done airbags and shocks but I've never done a brake chamber. So this is gonna be new for actually both of us. So, cause he doesn't really work on semi trucks. He mostly works on motorcycles, four wheelers, ATVs, and uh, vehicles like cars. But this is his first time also working on a semi truck. So this is definitely a learning curve for both of us. But uh, even installing floors inside a semi truck, that's his first time doing that too. But auto oh, stack y'all. Uh, 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 here, let's step back and get some get a good look at her yeah so stacks are done so we might start the truck up later for you guys and uh like i said we're mounting a bumper today we're going to be doing some welding later but big shout out to caveman customs y'all his information is down there in the description below uh if you're ever in the, in the houston area and need some work done this is the man to come to i was talking to uh old mr fidel and he might be coming down here to come check him out too because he needs to get some work done on his truck with the uh, like flooring and I don't wanna I don't wanna uh, spoil what he's got going on, but he wants to get some customization done too on his truck. So he might be taking a trip out here. And nope, she's just back there chilling. Okay. Yeah, y'all. Are you getting all cleaned up and lubed up? Yeah, this is a uh, chassis grease, so you mm -hmm. don't have a little unnecessary squeech when you're rolling down the road. I know, right? Nobody wants to hear that crap. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs>
come back a little bit with the pliers. Squeeze them again.
so long I forgot. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Got my fault. Spot you can can't see it. But it oh. Hold on, let's tie it to a fitting. There you go. <sighs> Look, there's so much grease on there. It's stuck. Yeah. The rocks were sticking to it. What did you use this to get it off? No, I use a, use a wrench. On the rest of this wrench. A big old 11 sixteenths. This probably isn't an absolutely necessary yeah. thing, but keep in mind. Yeah, exactly. That way you're not staying in a month. Yeah. Hey man, put them damn airbags on. They're <laughs> leaking like a sieve. Thank you. 
you had to bend it. Yeah. Oh, that's a box right. Failure number one, we cannot get that stupid freaking boat off. It will not budge. So, yeah. Tomorrow, three quarter inch impact. Yeah, three quarter inch, yeah, three quarter inch impact tomorrow, yeah. That thing's coming off regardless. <laughs> but we got that airbag replaced. We got that airbag replaced. And um, what else? So we're gonna wait on the brake chambers because I don't know which two they told me to change out. So we're gonna wait. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take it to the shop that told me to replace them. Who's gonna pass my inspection or give me an inspection and ask them specifically, which ones was it? I have brake chambers to swap them out for me, but airbags are done. That shock over there is done, but this one we cannot get off. So we're gonna get a bigger impact to get that one off of there. So yeah. So in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and jump her on off so we can see how she sounds. I know y'all have been waiting for that. I've been seeing it in the comments. I've actually gotten phone calls from people saying, hey, when are you gonna jump it off? Are they dead, dead? Saying 14 volt. It's probably that, that battery. Go ahead. Oh, right, yeah. Let's crank her up. Let's see what she does. This, this thing may not be big enough, but. Yeah. Set brakes on. Let's hear it. She runs pretty good, huh? She sounds pretty good. I wish I could have got some bigger stacks, but I did not want to pay double to go from six inch to seven inch stacks. But the six inch look okay. I'm not really, I'm not complaining. I really want eight inch stacks, but those sound pretty good. I'll, we'll take those. This is our first project, so we'll take it as it is. But okay, man is working on making brackets for the bumper. Let's go see what he's got going on.
So what's your plan for the bumper? Uh, Ben's brackets are so expensive. I'm gonna buy some flat strap, flat iron, what do you wanna call it? We're gonna build our own brackets. Sweet. And I'm just trying to get the holes drilled right now. Once I get it started, I can cut it to length. I gotta get some bins in it. We gotta put like a 45 here. And then we got a 90 it this way. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. To go up to the frame. Right. And then maybe a little bend on this end wherever I need it, but one thing at a time, we'll get it done. Sure. Hopefully rather sooner than later. So these here are the old brackets. He's gonna try to replicate these. There's one here. There's one there. So he's gonna try to get it on there to where the bumper. So basically, the only thing holding it now, well, that's gonna hold it, is these two screws and those two screws. And so, which angle are you gonna use for the uh, for the brackets? Instead of, they had it mounted to where the bracket was straight, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go back with some holes in the frame. Mm -hmm. Probably a far back. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to those so to keep the bumper from right. From flexing while you're rolling. Right. Because nobody likes to, you know. Yeah. Seen other truck rolling down right. that bumper. If I got an air ride kit around this thing, it just when I parked. They just drop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that bumper will sit right on the ground too. Yeah. Probably like, what a six inch drop. Maybe eight. So I guess, uh, I guess I can get Mikey out here to help you. Y'all can get these two in. Mm-hmm. Did you get the new boats? Yeah, they're right there. Okay. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay. Y'all can get them two in and, uh, we can get it adjusted and tighten it up. Mm -hmm. And then we can pull them other two out and stick them back in there. Right. Those are, those are ready now. Right. And then the window's cleaned up too. No more paint on the window, y'all. What I really want to try to do is crazy. You know how on the Peterbilts, how the exhaust goes down, like up under? Like up, right up against the truck? Well, uh, yeah, against the truck, but to where it drops all the way down, like under the tank almost, and goes up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, to where they come all the way down and then go up. I was wondering how it would look on. I mean, I think it would probably look good, but mm -hmm. my my fear would be like gators and right. You know what I mean? Right. You hit a tire, it slaps that pipe as long as right. right off there, you know. Right. <laughs> or at least the elbow and everything. Right. Um. Well, just don't hit no gators. Yeah, that, that's easier, <laughs> easier said than done. Sometimes. Yeah. Especially if, say, somebody blows in front of you or something. Right. There ain't no way to miss it. You know right. I mean? and all she needs is, so I'm going to replace these mirrors. I'm going to find some new mirrors. Polish that up, clean that uh, the drop visor. And then maybe, do y'all okay, do y'all know what the legal limit is on the visor? Because we want to see about lowering it or finding a larger visor. And just kind of going. We can lower it like four inches if we want, but we need to, right. we need to know if it's legal or not. I'm, right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a commercial driver, but I don't know how. <laughs> right. I'm not, Likewise. I'm not DOT. So. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But we're going to re replace those mirrors. And then, I don't know, you think you just replace the rims or you think you, you can polish them? I think we can polish them, but the, these don't match the ones you have in the back. Right. You right. have some back there that you could uh, we could swap around. Right. And put these on the inners. Right. But that's up to you. You know, like I said, you're gonna have to borrow a couple rims from somebody. Right. Like wheels and tires. Right. You know, or go buy some junk ones for now, just some steel ones to right. throw on there. Right. That way you can roll while I'm polishing. Right. When you come back. Oh, now if I'm jumping in another truck, this one can sit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we already talked about. Yeah. It. I forgot. Yeah. And yeah, this so one. I'll have to jack it up and pull the wheels off of it. Mm-hmm. So we can uh, get it polished up. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to polish the insides, but I'll go as far as getting all the mm -hmm. wheels. Right. But the insides, right. with these old wheels, you know what I mean? Right. It's going to be a bear because they're super, super dirty. Right. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's, she's turning out great, though. Just little things like that, a little polish in here. You know, a little polish in there. That visor will clean up, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just needs a good, <laughs> nice little touch on it. We'll just yank it off. Be the easiest thing to do is just yank it mm -hmm. off so I can get it down on the table. Right. So I can get my polish <coughs> and get ready. You know? Right. I know some of y'all were saying to take off the hood mirrors, but Landstar requires us to have yeah. hood mirrors on the truck. They're funny like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It would look better without them, though. Right. If I take those off, that's a failed inspection, and that's a whole nother ordeal. Yeah. You don't want to fail. Right. Yeah, but Landstar requires them. Don't they shut you down for like 30 days if you fail one or something? Nah, you got to pay for another inspection, but you can't move the truck until it's, pay, until until it's, it's fixed. fixed. Yeah. So if I take it to a shop and something's wrong, then... Yeah, that's piss poor over mirrors, too. Right, it's exactly, right. Down, right. Y'all have any mirrors in stock? No. <laughs> <laughs> then you're not. stuck. But right. you got to have them, right? Right. <laughs> and that's a, a whole nother ordeal. Make them pay for them. Right. <laughs> we could always do... Will they pay for the mirrors? Who? The front mirrors, Landstar. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Landstar gives us these for free. Oh, do they? Yeah. Well, let's just break them. <laughs> now, I was going to ask them for more anyway because these are old and flimsy. All I got to do is go up there and say they don't work and they'll give me some. Yeah. Oh, right see? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see anything. Uh-huh. And if this one doesn't move, it will. <laughs> we'll make it. We'll All right. Uh-oh. I'll loosen it up. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Look, it's, it needs to be replaced. It's unsafe. I know, right? <laughs> but yeah, then we'll try to find a junkyard or something to replace these. But yeah, guys, she's coming along good. So I know some of y'all were telling me to go to SH2 because some custom stuff made. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, a lot of y'all keep telling me to go to SH Tube, but the reason I don't want to do that is nothing against them at all. Matter of fact, if I could work with them, I could. But we're not going to work with them right now because I want to be able to find somebody else that does something similar, preferably in my area, which I do know somebody. I may actually know, well, I know one that lives around me, but we might be, just throwing it out there, we might be doing a collaboration with uh, Iowa Customs. They're out of Iowa and uh, they are sharing the same vision with the truck and so we might be doing a collaboration with them so i would love to use sh2 but i want to find somebody else that does it just so we can bring build our network you know even further uh than them but there's plenty of people out there that do it <clears throat> but um you know we just want to find somebody else to do it first so if i can't find anybody else i'll go to sh2 but um, if I can find somebody else, especially, particularly a little man, somebody with a small business that, that has a talent, but doesn't have the, uh, the network or the size of these big companies, I want to link up with them. And so uh, that's what we're looking for. So if you know anybody that does anything custom, comment down below. I know y'all were telling me about a day cab company, people out there. I think they're in Tennessee that I saw. They do custom interior work. I'm going to be looking them up and I'm going to be hitting up a uh, semi-casual. <laughs> And anybody do interior work on trucks? Because we need some help. Uh, we tore up the inside, so we have a few ideas of what we're going to do. But as far as the walls and the paneling and all that stuff, we don't, we don't, we don't know what we're doing. So I know y'all said day cab company. I know semi casual can do it. Is there anybody else that can do something like this? So anyway, guys, thanks y'all for tuning in. Um, he's going to get started on making the brackets, so we can get the bumper installed officially and safely and more secure i'm um, gonna replace some bolts down there just to make sure we get the same color bolts because the ones i have in there now are gold and just holding up the bumper but uh yeah y'all she's coming along pretty good she sounds great y'all been wanting to hear the startup so we did that just for y'all but uh, we may or may not have something special for y'all on the next episode but uh there's a playlist button guys that i made if you go to my page and click on play playlist it shows the whole build of this truck from episode one which was months ago probably back in this in january maybe December, December, and then all the way up to, uh, we took a break because I ran the truck to now. And so I will be having to hit the road here um, in about a week, maybe a week and a half to go get our fleet truck. Um, some of y'all are saying, why would you get another Pro Star? If y'all watch a few v videos back, a subscriber reached out to me. The whole Volvo thing, guys, was as a publicity stunt. It was just for views. I'm going to go buy this tour at Volvo. It was a publicity stunt. But 
because I posted that video, a subscriber reached out to me and said, hey bro, I have this Pro Star. come check it out, it's a 2015. Told me the specs on it. My mechanic, Brad, who is an international uh, master mechanic, uh, checked it out for me. He did some research on it. And uh, he says it's a good buy because the price I'm getting for the truck and the, the deal I'm getting on the truck can't be beat. So I'm going to go ahead and get that truck, drive it for about a month, put a driver in it. I know some of y'all, why are you getting a Pro Star? What specs did it have? Go back and watch that video uh, a couple of weeks ago, about two weeks ago. And you'll see that video of me going and looking at the Pro Star. So y'all see him back there working. Yeah, so like I said, if you wanna see more on that truck, go back and watch that video. Um, but I made a playlist on the whole build on this truck, so check that one out. But like I said, my master mechanic is telling me to buy this truck. So y'all know Brad, bearded diesel guy out there in uh, Greenville, North Carolina. Shout out to him. Um, he's telling me to get the truck. My master mechanic is telling me to get this truck based on the deal that I'm getting on it and just the ideas that we, uh, that we're kind of put together so if he's telling me to get the truck i'm getting the truck so but yeah guys thank you all for watching thank you all for tuning in uh i'm going to get back to work help him out a little bit but big shout out to caveman customs and uh old smoky here and uh yeah thank you all for the comments thank you all for the uh the input that y'all have been given i do read the comments i may not always comment or respond to them or reply to them but i do for sure read them and so we're taking everything. Actually, we both read the comments. Uh, we read the good comments and we read the hateful comments, which uh, YouTube showed me earlier. There's a button on there so I can see all the hateful comments because YouTube has their own um, censorship. And so it was like, we hear these comments for you. And I found that button today. And I was like, oh, dang, people are really, people are crazy. They really hate me. And I love it. Because guess what? It puts money into this bill. Every comment, every like, every subscription, every view, everything puts money in my bank account and all that money is going to go into this thing so i want to thank y'all so so much for your support um we just hit our year anniversary uh monday this past monday um and we've already got what 7800 subscribers so thank y'all so much for that we great greatly greatly do appreciate it and youtube has told me that only 50 percent of my subscribers watch my videos so if you haven't hit that button yet Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, yeah, we may have something special for you guys coming up next video. Um, I did find a pair of seats for the truck. Hopefully, they're still available Monday. I can go down there and pick them up, and then I'm going to go pick up. Hopefully, the grill is still in stock too. So I'm getting a pair of seats, and I'm getting a grill to throw on this bad boy on Monday. Which today is Saturday, so y'all will see that probably Tuesday. But anyway, and then uh, I got to go pick up that Pro Star. I mean, like I said, I can't beat the deal I'm getting on it. And whether I drive the truck or drive a truck, if I drive the truck, it'll be paid for and like, it'll pay for itself in like two months. If I put a driver in, it might take three, four months. So I'm gonna drive the truck about a month and a half to two months just to make sure everything's in tip top shape. Prayerfully, I don't have any breakdowns on it. That way I get the money back on the truck and then I'm going to put a driver in after that. So, you know, I'll be running back on this one. So anyway. Thanks y'all for tuning in. Hope to see y'all on the next episode. We're truly humbled by everything. And we will see you guys on the next one.